Good morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. This is how it's been looking all day today. Just really wet, steady, steady rain. It rained all night, it's rained all day, and it's been pretty much just like this. Literally, non-stop, all day. The good news is my water tank is filling up nicely. Well, that camera is not catching that color. I'm trying to get that red. The orange of that tree right there is quite pretty, but the camera is just not getting it through all the rain. So I'm filling up my water tank, which is a good thing. I was checking the uh, tiny house, and there are gallons of water gushing off the roof in steady streams. I would have filled my tank today totally from dead empty. Um, I'm going to have to get a couple thousand gallons of water storage and bury it underground so I have a rainwater reservoir here because this tiny house is going to collect a lot of rainwater. See the problem with the RV I'm in, where I'm standing by right now, is that water runs off the sides as well as the top. It runs sort of sideways and frontwards and backwards and all around. In the tiny house, the water is directed to the, the slope, right off the slope on the back. So that's going to be a serious water collector. I think today I would have got an easy 275 gallons and filled my tank just from this rain. Because it has been just non-stop like this. I had to have my DC generator running to even upload videos this morning. And since it's really wet... Um, I don't really want to take my chainsaw and my gas can and oil out in this slop and cut firewood and I'm certainly not exposing my log splitter to this and I'm not going to bring my axe out. Some people probably would cut fire in the rain but uh, cut firewood in the rain but I just don't want to abuse my tools like that. Um, all my wood is wet so I can't be cutting any paneling today so that's out. And uh, the humidity is 97% or something like that. I mean, it's absolutely wet. So I won't be varnishing today. So today is video catch-up day. I have processed three or four videos this morning. And I still have about three, four, five more to do. So I'm busy inside the RV, using the computer, and uh, just kicking out the videos today. So hopefully I'll, I'll get it all done. Hopefully this rain ends soon, but I was looking at the weather map. Not looking positive. It's just a continuous stream of non-stop rainstorms all the way. But that's good because I, I wish I'd have shown you the lake before. It had about six inches of water in it. I wish I'd have showed you before, like yesterday or whatever, but it's too late now. And the creek was almost dried up. So, anyway, this is going to help the land. It's going to help my garden because the uh, garden, some of my plants are just now producing fruit where all summer they were dormant. And it's going to be very beneficial. Well, I'm going to get back inside and keep working on the videos then. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World in a very dark off grid project. The, it sounds like the rain is just quieting down, finally. It's 3 in the afternoon. Um, I think it's just coming off the trees now, so it's finally stopping for the first time today. Um, got quite a few gallons of water today in my tank. I haven't been out in a while to check, but I got a lot of water. I think that's the wind. Yeah, you can see all the leaves coming down out there. A bit of a breeze. So it finally stopped raining. I mean, it's still dark and wet. I've got three videos uploaded today. Actually four. Four videos today uploaded. And another three more processed and waiting to be uploaded. Which will be feeding you guys throughout the next coming days. Actually you'll see this video after those are done. But I'm just explaining what I'm doing with my time here today. On this fine, dark, and cold Saturday at the off-grid project. Sometimes I've got to do the video work because that's my uh, that's my job. And 
Today I'm playing catch up. So I want to get out in the tiny home a little bit this afternoon though. Maybe do a little work inside on the um I can't do any real varnish or anything, but I make maybe can work on the insulation and uh a little bit on sealing some of the gaps in the countertops which I wanted to do. So I'll probably get out there later. But it's good to catch up on all the video work. Very important. <laughs> 